Hi guys, welcome back to Simpsons Classics, the channel where we do DIY restorations and we attempt to get these cars back on the road um, and, you know, live in to fight another day. So, in this episode, we're back on with the Mini Mayfair. If you haven't caught uh, the Resto Mod Cooper uh, video, please go check that out. It's an awesome, awesome series, a modified car, which we don't do a lot on Simpsons Classics. Um, you will see that we went to Mini Mine, a big, big haul for Mini Mine of panels, but we also collected what we possibly could that was in stock for this. So, what did we get? We got two heritage door steps, we got a boot floor repair section, got a rear balance on its closers, uh, and two door skins. Quite a bit of stuff, really. Right, so, what does that mean? It means we got some good quality panels to get welded into this car. So, this is a heritage door step. You will see it comes with the post. We don't need the post. But, this pressing, this panel is 10 times better than a Magnum one. So, this is James's baby, so I've always said to James, happy to do whatever you need with the car, but the panels need to be good quality and the best we can get for it because it just takes so long to put really poor panels into a car. That's one of them. We'll unveil the rest when we get cracking with the rest of the car. So, while I enjoy another brew, what we're gonna get cracking on with today is we're gonna get the door step in. So, we haven't got the floors yet, and if you remember on the other side, we cut out the overseal off just to assess it so we can send the list to MiniMind to go what we want, how big the panel needs to be. What we've gone for is quarter floors. So if you didn't see the 72 blue, teal blue Club in the State, we put a quarter floor on the left-hand side of that car. I think it's like, yeah, left-hand side. And they fit lovely, but it goes front to back to the car, so you chop out all of the rubbish that's caused by an overseal, and you start again with the first flute in, basically, on the floor. We're, we're waiting for them, and machine's got a bit of a backlog, so we're waiting for them to come through to minimize, so there is absolutely no reason why we can sit here twiddling our thumbs. <whistles> we might as well crack on. Because like mentioned, We've got a lot to get done on Simpsons Classic, so there's not gonna be much talk in this episode. I just want to introduce the bits and pieces that we're doing. We need to get this car back to James as a solid shell. So this car then will get painted and then it can be enjoyed. Then we've got another one to clear. We've got a lot of classic minis in here. We've got a lot of cars in here. We've also got the Volkswagen here at the moment. There's a lot of welding happening and I'll be trying to film as much as it possibly can. So if you're here for the Volkswagen, you're here for the Volvo Amazon, stuff like that, please stick around. We are gonna be cracking on with it, but it has got to the point where Having a couple of cars kicking around is getting in the way now. And it's getting to the point where we've got some quite heavy deadlines for this, this. Massive deadlines for these two. Mrs. S wants that at least painted and looking like a car, not necessarily finished. We've got a big engine bill to pay for on that one. But by a 30th, that's January. So it sounds like a million miles away, but when we both got full-time jobs, yeah, it's not. It will come up and off very, very fast. And this one got sprung upon me that it's someone's 4-0. The month later in February. Hmm. Before that, we've got deadlines before both of them dates. So we've got a lot to do, guys. Right, I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna show you the doorstep. I'm gonna get cracking. Cue the time lapse. Right, so with the door off, we can see that here's unfinished business on the A panel. So this flange needs to be folded round. Obviously, we didn't do that. We had the door lightened up just to get the front end all together on it. Once again, these are all heritage panels. Yeah, go check out the front end episode. I think there's part one and two. It's probably the hardest front end I've ever done, and I'm not 110% happy with it, I have to say, but it's on, and it's 10 times better than it was, but I know that with a straighter car that we realized there's probably accident damage previous to this car, it could have been better. So go check out them episodes. You've got to do what you've got to do, guys. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's loads better than it was. Right, let's get the uh, frost tool out and we'll get this flange folded round because that way we get access into that corner when we cut this, this doorstep off. So this little tool is from Frost and it's for folding flanges basically. Uh, it's listed on their website as a door skinning tool slash flange tool and basically the idea of it is it comes with different nylon blocks, basically a lever with a very, very razor sharp flat edge there and the idea is that goes on the inside of the panel and the nylon part goes on the outside of your panel. It crushes the metal together, but the idea is you shouldn't have to use filler. You shouldn't have to use any um, panel beating tools after if you take your time with it. So 
my top tip with this, when I fit the A panels, I shave off the corner in here. I'll bring you guys in. I shave off that corner. So this, this panel will come all the way to the top. I always zoom, zoom. You know that is uh, gonna fold all the way around then, and that's what you want. You want it to fold around. As you saw then, the door's quite hard to get out because obviously it catches. Right, first point of call. So do that when you fit your A panel. Next step, get a hammer, a nice panel beating hammer, and fold this flange around as much as you can before using that tool. Otherwise you will damage this outer panel, which you don't want to do. So I'm going to go grab a hammer now and we'll get knocking that round. Right, with that edge kind of folded quarter of the way round really, just with a basic hammer, you now haven't got to put half as much stress on the panel to get this round. So I'll do a little bit with you guys just to show you and then I'll get cracking with it. So basically take your time. Do not try and fold it all in one go. Do very, very small snips and keep it even all the way up. So I am very, very lightly pushing on this. I am not pushing on it at all. The more pressure you put on the front of that panel, the more like you have to fill it. A light, very light skimp isn't uncommon on an A panel, but I'm quite proud now. I've managed to get to quite a few where I haven't actually got to put filler in them. Um, budget clubbing was one. Really happy with that, so. Actually, no, I think one side I did, but one side I did very, very well, because I learned, basically. So, just very, very gently, take your time with it, pinch in as you go, and trying to keep this tool moving. So, there are my top tips. Cut the top of that, knock it round quarter of the way or as far away as you can with that, and grab yourself one of these excellent tools. Right, I'm gonna get cracking with it. Right, and there we have it. As you can see, that is now fully folded all the way down. What you'll also notice is it will add a hell of a lot more strength into this area of the car because obviously you folded around your door post now. So the reason this panel, like I said, it comes up along here, this doorstep, and comes up there. We don't need any of this. This is all really good. It normally is really good on, on minis, to be fair. It's Normally when these go, it's due to poor window seals, and this car obviously has been maintained, it's had good window seals. I mean, you can see so far that they're that good that it's actually left really shiny paint under there, they're that good. Um, so there's actually no point in interrupting all this, and obviously we have already dealt with all this area. I would have obviously dealt with this first if I knew I needed to, never needed to. We only have had to repair this on the Budget Clubman and on the MPI, Yoo-hoo, over there. Um, Again, because it's just rot in that corner, but what we did is we used the piece of another panel and put it in there. So now you can clearly see the issues I've got. So that's actually hold all the way through. Um, and the main reason I want to get rid of this is the way this has been welded with the over seals, it's just absolutely ruined this lip. So when we put the new floor and new seal on, we're never going to be able to do this properly with a good piece of metal. It's a shame because really that would clean up. That's just surface rust. That, that's just dirt. All this is glue. Um, from a little doorstep that was on here. That's the only bit really. We could get away, if this lip wasn't bad, in just putting a piece in there, and I've got loads of offcuts that we could have got away with that. It's not the case, and we want to do it right. So we're just gonna cut down there, and cut down there, where the rot stops basically. Make sure we're good further back, and then get it put in. Right, I'm gonna get this cutter out, which I absolutely love doing anyway, and uh, yeah, get this cutter out, and we'll start cutting away. Before I do that, I just want to take the chance to say thank you to everyone that does subscribe to the channel and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and uh yeah comment away it's all the engagement of the channel is what we really love and it's what we really kind of thrive upon is your opinion on things would you do this would you do not do that and at the end of the day we're DIYers just like you the difference is we're filming it and showing you I'm always at the end of an email if you need any help yeah also mini mine need any bits for your classic mini Go check them out. There's a discount code on the screen now for 10% off when you spend £15 or more on their eBay store. Excellent company. And if you do need panels, pop into the shop. They don't ship. But eBay store, we are guys. Go check them out. Frost. I mentioned Frost and that lovely, lovely panel beating tool, um, the panel flanging tool. And guess what? In the description, there's a discount code for these guys. So go grab yourself that tool. If you're a storing minis and you plan on doing a few of them, or if you just DIY projects, 
Trust me, that tool's well worth having. It is really, really good. So, right, let's get on with cutting. We love cutting. First off, I'm fully aware this is not the way you take a door step off properly. Um, you drill out spot welds along there and you drill out spot welds along there. This bit's all well and good, apart from like the, the last quarter because there is still some spot welds. All of this inner seal, all of this floor is going. Um, so I'm just gonna clean it back. Here, there was no spot welds whatsoever. Uh, so I'm just cutting along the seal and then I'll line it up you can note I've marked here with a pen where everything went high, up to height, and from doing a few, you kind of know where they're meant to go. But I wanted to bring you in for this. So I've not even really started properly cutting here. You see the white? There's the original seal. There you go. <laughs> that, my lovely viewers, is an overseal in all its fine glory. No, oh, for God's sake. Look, you can see weld wire, look where it's had previous repairs over and over again. To be fair, this inner seal is actually in really good shape, but it's completely gone along the bottom. The actual seal bit's okay. So before you say you should brace this, there is nothing cut out. There's just a hole here. There is nothing cut out of this car. None of this is gonna move. Box section's fully attached. Trust me, you're okay. Um, obviously, if you wanna brace, there is nothing wrong with that. But from experience, once all this is solid, we know this is all good. I wouldn't worry too much, guys. So I'm just gonna cut the worst of this out of the way and then we'll start mocking that new door step in. Like I say, we won't be welding it to that just yet, but we can bring it up to that line just to make sure we're golden um, and we're ready to go. And then basically this bit's done and we can move to another part of the car while we wait for these floors. Sometime later, a little bit of grinding, a bit of trimming, we are sorted. So once I pull that in tight, that fits really nice along there. And then we'll come down and join this back in. And same there, a bit too much I cut out of the top there, but it's nothing you can't sort. It all lines up really nice. So yeah, really happy with that. The height is quite easy to determine because you still have the inner seal in here. Also, you can still see where the original post was and I've completely lined that back up with that. Not very easy to see on camera, but it's not perfectly flush on the front. Both sides were like that. And I've looked at the sidewalk and it's exactly the same as well. So it just must be how they're fitted together. Um, so I have a lot of movement in this. This is very loosely clamped. So what I'm gonna do is just get a tack on it and then I can knock that back in where I want it. Right, let's get the welder out.
<coughs> oh. All right, guys. Hey, right. I am probably covered. Success. Check this out, guys. Quite happy with this one. So, all down there. Lovely. Just need a tiny bit of smooth tidying up in that corner, get the right die grinder on it. But, bottom of that, A panel's all connected, all that's connected. Like I say, followed that line all the way along. And then, obviously, uh, this isn't welded to the inner sill because we're going to change all that. That's coming in the next seat, the next uh, package of panels. And then again, there. Winner! Right. That is a big, big step forward for this car. So basically, from looking at it, you've got all of that is new. Just need the inner bit now. That will arrive soon. Right. The best crack on with the other side, don't I? We've got two door steps to do. Oh no, wait. That one's already done. Oh yeah. Sorry guys, YouTube magic and all that, that one. It watched me do that one, that one just jumped into place. <laughs> no, um, I didn't see the point in boring you, so I've done, done both. Sweet, all right, I'm buzzing on that, really, really good day. I love being down here, being productive, it's awesome. Winner. Right, next point of call, we're gonna get into the boot area of this car. Um, we're gonna wire well everything and see what's what. It's quite hard to work out how far it's gone with all the seam sealer, factory seam sealers all over it. So really hoping that we've got that boot repair panel that that doesn't have to be fitted because from looking it doesn't actually, but we need bits and pieces of it, hence why I bought it. So, mint. <laughs> Sorry, just really good when you make a good, you know, a really good successful day. Nothing goes dramatically wrong. So, she's looking good. We'll quickly show you the back just before we finish. Might as well. Let me go just grab the torch. Right, let's go and have a gander. So, ignore the ECU in the boot, that's just out of my way. We've got a little hole there and a small hole there, so we'll, we'll put a whole piece in that. Um, so, yeah, we'll just cut out in there, that's fine. Tiny little hole behind that bracket, which is going to be fun to repair. So, all down there, to be fair, is absolutely mint and clean. And then there is just this hole doo -doo -doo -doo. there. So I'm hoping to cut it out, cut the valance off, cut it out and then repair it from the underside or weld it from the top, but you'll be able to see. Because this lip, to be fair, along here, it's got a little bit of sewing coming through, but to be honest, it looks like just cracked paint. So we're gonna try and save this back panel because to be honest, it's, it's really clean, this. It's really not gone, not gone too badly. All these are really good, it's all really good around there. Um, and then obviously we have the exact same repair to do in there, but this arch is absolutely fine. So we haven't got to do an arch repair on this one. Uh, of valance it's all bent anyway and it's all crusty and gone so we've got a heritage one of them to go on so yeah next episode we're we'll trying to get a boot floor done maybe and maybe even the valance in the same episode we'll just see what sort of time time i've got but once the back's done uh we've got the floors that are on their way and then door skins and she's solid again and she can uh, go off the paint so buzzing with that so i would love to paint this car i really would um just getting onto the paint side of things but I can't. <laughs> I have a, I'm in a barn still, guys, and I've got a really short window. It's meant to be a very hot summer to paint a car or two. Um, and unfortunately, I don't want this just sat around. It's, it needs to go back, get painted, and get on the road. So just going to chuck some primer on that, and we're going to push on with the rest of the panels. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. You don't know how much that helps us out. Remember to check out both our sponsors. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got Minimine and we've got Frost. There's discount codes all below. And earlier on in the video, the discount code was on the screen for Minimine. Um, please go check them out. This is the day before setting off for London to Brighton. Uh, so yeah, I'm, 
I feel good. Got a really good productive day. Now I can go see James and go, yeah, look at all this. We're really pushing along, which is good. Right, catch you soon. There will be a Lunch Brighton video out, so please make sure you don't miss that. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you see a load of it at Lunch Brighton, but this is gonna come out after Lunch Brighton anyway, so don't know why I'm saying it. Catch you soon, guys. Remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment away. Do you like the Mini Mayfair? Do you wanna see more? We'll do our best. There's a good few videos in it yet, so catch you soon.